What's going on, everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing this fine early Tuesday morning? It's about 1.30 a.m. here. Yeah, everybody's like, what are you doing? Your video's so late. Well, when you have a kid, it's a different story. I got a two-year-old, so <laughs> she keeps a lot of my uh, time, you know, pulling me to her room, playing, especially with quarantine and stuff. So, um... Yeah, I stayed up late to do these for you guys, just to give you something to kind of look at. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm hoping we get out of this very soon. We just got to keep our eye on Christ and God, and hopefully we'll uh, get out of this situation. Um, anyway, I think uh, God and Jesus is what we need right now. Uh, everybody has different opinions on that, but that's what I think. But anyway, um, uh, I'm going to get right to the video. My video today is about what um, I had an email come through that asked, what is your preferred glove conditioner and stuff like that. And I've used several. I've used like the ones you buy as far in the um, like um, Academy Sports, Dick Sporting Goods. Um, stuff like that, Nelcoma, Rawlings, um, let's see, I think it's uh, Champro has one, several different ones, Mizuno makes one, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of who else, Marucci I think makes one, um, several other people, sorry if I'm rubbing my eyes folks, I'm not used to being up this late, but it's okay, it's for you guys, so, um, but so you go online, there's 2B wax, stuff like that. So I found one that actually has a cleaner, a conditioner, and a game ready conditioner. And I've used their products for right at a, a year and a half now, I think, a year, year and a half. And I found them online on, uh, I believe it was Instagram. I was scrolling through and boom, it popped up on my Instagram. So I checked it out. Well, anyway, um, I used I used it on um, a young man's glove not too long ago, and he couldn't even tell that it was his glove. I cleaned it up so well and stuff like that. Uh, and the the conditioner and the cleaner that I use is called Ball Players Bomb, and I'm rocking their shirt. Let me get up a little bit where y'all can see it. Right there, they have hats too as well. And uh, I just got this shirt in actually today, I believe. And uh, I, I, as, soon as, I, as soon as I got it in, I probably shouldn't have, but I just uh, threw it on and <laughs> was rocking it. So, excuse me. So here we go. There's my other one here. All right, uh, here is your cleanser, calming cleanser right here. Ball Players Bomb. This is what you're going to use to clean all the dirt off your glove um, and stuff like that before you apply any conditioner to your glove. Now, they will send you instructions, and I'm going to read, kind of read them over for you um, just to give you a heads up. Their calming cleanser has got a, an amazing scent. It doesn't like smell really bad or anything. Uh, it's got this fresh scent to it. That I don't know what it is, and I actually Instagrammed these guys and said, "Look, y'all need to make this scent into like an air freshener or something, because it's it's just the cleanest scent that you can ever smell. I'm telling you, it's 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 really good smell. Uh, and the first the first part is the you know what you want to do to your glove if it's really dirty, your labels like on your glove, like uh, if you have an All Star." Um, you know, clean your, cleaning your little labels, the little all-star symbol in the middle of the web, you know, stuff like that. So here is the, let's see if I can get that to focus right. Let me wipe my camera off here. Maybe that will help. Anyway, here we go. Um, this is the Ball Players Common Cleanser right there. Now the directions are using a small brush and water rope rub cleaner until a lather is created. Once lather is started, begin scrubbing the glove, creating a lather on the glove. 
go back and forth between glove, water, and cleaner in order to maintain desired lather. Wipe off lather after scrubbing. Use cleaner on leather and cloth portions of the glove. After glove dries, use one of our conditioners to take great care of the leather, replenishing your glove with nourishing oils. Allow cleaner to dry before putting the lid back on. So after you use this cleanser, uh, I take a toothbrush and kind of mix everything up. Uh, with, I would say lukewarm water. You don't want it really cold or you definitely don't want it really hot. I just say lukewarm water. And um, uh, before, they're basically saying in the instructions, before you, uh, basically it says allow cleaner to dry. Basically when you close, before you close this up, it should look like this right here. It's really dry, as you can tell, it's dry right there. So, um, yeah, mine, you can tell I kind of used it a little bit. But um, but you want it dry, and then you close the lid back on it. There's the cleanser part. Uh, the next one is your Ball Player's Balm Conditioner. This one really doesn't have a scent. Uh, there it is, you can tell where I've been rubbing some on that glove. It don't really have a scent. That's somewhat, but not too bad. Um, this is your actual actual conditioner here that goes on your glove. This will help the lifespan of your glove. Keep your um, keep your glove from you see uh, these baseball players' gloves. They don't really take care of them. The leather dries out, which makes it worse when you try to field a ball or something like that. So this is what this stuff is for here. There's the conditioner, it's come in three parts. The cleanser, the regular conditioner, and the game ready conditioner. Okay, and I'm about to get into that now. There's the regular conditioner right there. Step three, here is your ball player's bomb game ready conditioner. This is pretty cool. They actually threw this on for me because I, I was a catcher. So uh, I seen it on their website and he was like, dude, I'll, I'll slap that sticker on there for you. So that's pretty cool. And then this game ready conditioner um, has a tackiness, kind of a tackiness to it. So basically, if I'm a catcher and I want my, basically my pitcher maybe to grip the ball a little better, this has a... A little bit of a tackiness to it and not, not like nothing like pine tar or nothing because that would probably be illegal but it has uh, somewhat of a tackiness to it so when you catch it you throw it back to the pitcher you might have a little grip on the ball just a little bit so I'm gonna read these for your game ready conditioner slash pro conditioner your game ready is this one it'll say it right there and then your uh, your pro conditioner is this one right here. So keep balm in a climate controlled space. Balm can melt at high temperatures, meaning don't put it in your car and leave it there because it's <laughs> it'll melt. If this happens, don't worry, it will become solid again once placed back in a cool place. To apply, scoop out about one gram of balm at a time and apply it to your glove. Continue the process till you have covered all the area you would like. You would like to cover with balm. You can apply the balm to the entire glove, the balm, web, back side of the glove, inside, palm, and the strings. Always test any conditioning product on a small portion. So don't basically don't don't start rubbing it in all over the all over the palm of the glove. Just to you know see, do it a little uh, a small bit on it. You know uh, maybe on the maybe on the thumb or the pinky side of your glove or something, and just to basically see how it works out okay i was just to see how your glove responds for we'll covering your entire glove allow balm to sit on glove overnight so leave it sitting overnight after you uh put your uh conditioner on there uh then in there is too much remaining residue the next day wipe it off if that basically says there's too much on it you can see it wipe it off with a dry rag dry cloth you can also wipe off access conditioner with a dry cloth after you have applied it without waiting overnight this will limit the amount of conditioner soaked into the glove so basically they're saying if you don't want a lot of conditioners going into your glove you know a lot of people have 
you know, things where the conditioners make your glove heavy and stuff that they're basically saying you can wipe it right off after you uh, apply some of it. If you don't want it actually going into the glove. Uh, depending on your leather and your climate, you will use the balm differently. For dry climates, you may want to use the balm more than once a week to keep the leather as you want it. If you live in humid climates, you may want to use it less. Humid climates, here in Tennessee, we got a lot of humidity, moisture in the air. So it depends on how your glove responds and how you want your glove to feel. Apply as needed for your specific glove and your preference. Enjoy. Okay, now I'm going to read this one too. Before applying any product to your glove, make sure to test a small area to make sure your glove reacts well. It is always a good practice to test a small area of your leather anytime you apply a product. Leather is unique and results may vary. So there you go. Uh, my This is my opinion, okay? You're going to have a lot of people say, oh, tube wax is better or this, this, and that. Well, um, I like this because it's got three different parts. You got your cleanser, which smells really good, and it doesn't smell when you're putting it on there. You use a toothbrush, stuff like that. It smells awesome. Uh, then you have your second step, which is your conditioner after you clean your glove, stuff like that. And then you have your game ready conditioner, which you can rub this in probably an hour, two hours, or three hours before the game. You would have to contact them to see. Um, I've never, I never had the chance to try it um, when I was playing. So I didn't know if it actually, um, you know, had the good tackiness to it. But I am um, going to be going to catch um, not too long here, uh, maybe a couple of college kids. And I think I might rub this on my glove um, probably an hour, hour and a half before I go. Maybe two hours before I go. Maybe even three hours before I go. Or maybe right even when I wake up. Because it'll probably be later on that afternoon or at night before I go catch them. And just to see how, how this stuff works. I like the cleanser and I like the conditioner. As far as this, I have not tried it yet. Um, but it's a game ready conditioner. Uh, your catchers especially could use it. That would help your pitchers uh, as far as a little bit of tackiness to the ball. Um, so there you have it, folks. Um, the ball player's bomb, in my opinion, is the best for me. I like it. A lot of people use it. Uh, 951 Glove Love, I think. He lives in California. I think he uses it all the time. Um see uh i'm not sure who else exactly uses it but i'm telling you it's good stuff 10 out of 10 the best product i've used pretty much every single conditioner that uh they made and i've actually got them all in the um <laughs> in my in my little uh, box where when i relace gloves and stuff but i have found this stuff to be the best and I won't be using anything else, and I'll probably be getting rid of a lot of the uh, other stuff, selling it, probably like five bucks a pop for a can of it just to get rid of it because it's just sitting in there. So uh, if anybody has any questions about Ball Players Bomb, you can contact them on Instagram. I'm pretty sure Facebook, Twitter, you know, Twitter, uh, at least, uh, no, Instagram, because they responded to me uh, about a week or so ago. And just today, as a matter of fact, when I got my shirt, I sent them a picture of me wearing my shirt. They have hats, too, and stuff like that. But to me, in my opinion, Ball Players Bomb is the best stuff out there right now as far as baseball glove conditioners so, and cleansers. So anybody has any questions, leave me a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.